The United States Pacific Fleet USPACFLT, is a Pacific Ocean theater-level component command of the United States Navy that provides naval forces to the United States Indo-Pacific Command. Fleet headquarters is at Pearl Harbor Naval Station, Hawaii, with large secondary facilities at North Island, San Diego Bay on the mainland. Topic. Origins A Pacific fleet was created in 1907 when the Asiatic Squadron and the Pacific Squadron were combined. In 1910, the ships of the 1st Squadron were organized back into a separate Asiatic fleet. The General Order 94 of 6 December 1922 organized the United States fleet, with the Battle Fleet as the Pacific presence. Until May 1940, the Battle Fleet was stationed on the west coast of the United States, primarily at San Diego. During the summer of that year, as part of the U.S. response to Japanese expansionism, it was instructed to take an advanced position at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. Long-term basing at Pearl Harbor was so strongly opposed by the commander, Admiral James O. Richardson, that he personally protested in Washington. Political considerations were thought sufficiently important that he was relieved by Admiral Husband E. Kimmel, who was in command at the time of the attack on Pearl Harbor. The Pacific Fleet was formally recreated on 1 February 1941. On that day General Order 143 split the United States fleet into separate Atlantic, Pacific, and Asiatic fleets. Topic. Composition of the Pacific Fleet in December 1941 On 7 December, the fleet consisted of the Battle Force, Scouting Force, Base Force, Amphibious Force Comfibpac, Cruiser Force COMCRUPAC, Destroyer Force COMDESPAC, and the Submarine Force COMSUBPAC. Also in Hawaii was the 14th Naval District, commanded by Rear Admiral Claude C. Block. The battle force consisted of battleships, battle force, made up of three battleship divisions. These nine battleships were intended to counterbalance the ten battleships of the Imperial Japanese Navy. At the time of the attack on Pearl Harbor, Pennsylvania was in dry dock undergoing maintenance, and Colorado was in the midst of a refit at Bremerton Navy Yard, Washington. Arizona was mated with Nevada and Oklahoma at that time. Other components of the battle force included aircraft, battle force, with Carrier Division 1 and Carrier Division 2, plus cruiser divisions 4, 5, and 6, as well as destroyers, battle force. When the attack took place, all three carriers were absent. Saratoga was in San Diego collecting her air group following a major refit. Enterprise was en route back to Hawaii following a mission to deliver aircraft to Wake Island, while Lexington had just departed on a similar mission to Midway. The scouting force included Cruiser Division 3, Cruiser Division 9 and Submarines, Scouting Force. The Amphibious Force was formally known as Commander, Amphibious Forces, Pacific Fleet, Comfibpac. On 7 December 1941 the Amphibious Force comprised the Army's 3rd Infantry Division at Fort Lewis, under Army Operational Control, the 2nd Marine Division, the 2nd Marine Aircraft Wing, the 2nd Defense Battalion, see Marine Defense Battalions, and a depot. One of FIPOC's subordinate commands during World War II was Transports, Amphibious Force, Pacific Fleet, or Transfipac. The commander of Transfipac was known as Comtransfipac. In December 1941, the fleet consisted of nine battleships, three aircraft carriers, 12 heavy cruisers, eight light cruisers, 50 destroyers, 33 submarines, and 100 patrol bombers. 
This was approximately the fleet's strength at the time of the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. That day, the Japanese combined fleet carried out the attack on Pearl Harbor, drawing the United States into World War II in the Pacific. The Pacific Fleet's battle line took the brunt of the attack, with two battleships destroyed, two salvageable but requiring lengthy reconstruction, and four more lightly to moderately damaged, forcing the U.S. Navy to rely primarily on aircraft carriers and submarines for many months afterward. Subsequently Pacific Fleet engagements during World War II included the Battle of Guam, the Marshalls Gilberts Raids, the Doolittle Raid, the Solomon Islands Campaign, the Battle of the Coral Sea, the Battle of Midway, the Battle of the Eastern Solomons, the Battle of the Santa Cruz Islands, the Battle of the Philippine Sea, the Gilbert and Marshall Islands Campaign, the Battle of Leyte Gulf, and the Battle of Okinawa. More minor battles included the Battle of Dutch Harbor. The submarine force began a sustained campaign of commerce raiding against Japan's merchant marine, beginning the very first day of the war, which ultimately claimed 1,314 ships totaling about 5.3 million tons by the imperfect post-war reckoning of the Joint Army-Navy Assessment Committee, Yanak. The West Lock disaster occurred at Pearl Harbor on 21 May 1944. Post-1945 The Pacific Fleet took part in Operation Magic Carpet, the return of U.S. servicemen, after the end of the Second World War. The organization of the Pacific Fleet in January 1947 is shown in Hal M. Friedman's Arguing Over the American Lake, Bureaucracy and Rivalry in the U.S. Pacific, 1945-1947. Since 1950 the Pacific Fleet has been involved in the Korean War, the Vietnam War, the two Taiwan Straits crises, and a number of other operations including the Mayaguez Incident of 1975, as well as post-Vietnam. Vietnam related operations such as Operation New Arrivals. The RIMPAC exercise series began in 1971. On 7 March 1984, the Secretaries of Transportation and Navy signed a Memorandum of Agreement which created the Maritime Defense Zones MDZ. The Pacific MDZ is an Echelon 3 Navy command under the Commander U.S. Pacific Fleet. The Pacific MDZ has responsibility for coastal defense up to 200 nautical miles, 370 kilometers, 230 miles around the US West Coast, Aleutian Islands, and Hawaii during times of hostility. On the 1st of October 1990, Commander US Naval Forces Alaska, COMUS and AVAK was established as the Naval Component Commander to Commander Alaskan Command, COMALCOM. Since its inception, COMUS and AVAK has grown to become responsible for coordinating all Navy activity in the Alaska and Aleutian area, for detailed planning and coordination for the naval portion of the Joint and Combined Exercise Northern Edge, and coordinates high-visibility U.S. Navy ship visits throughout Alaska in support of public relations and recruiting initiatives. The very large PACEX-89 in the North Pacific involved the USN, Canadian Navy, Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force, and ROC Navy. At the end of exercise PACEX-89 a 54-ship formation was assembled for photos. It included the flagship, USS Blue Ridge, the USS Enterprise Battle Group, the USS Carl Vinson Battle Group, two battleship surface action groups formed around USS New Jersey and USS Missouri, and a Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force Task Force. Missouri and New Jersey performed a simultaneous gunfire demonstration for the aircraft carriers Enterprise and Nimitz during PACEX. 
The highlight of PaySex for Missouri was a port visit in Pusan, Republic of Korea. Other operations undertaken since include participation in the Alaskan Oil Spill Joint Task Force, including participation of Commander, Amphibious Group 3, as Deputy CJTF. This was the defense response to the Exxon Valdez oil spill of March 1989. Also, the Pacific Fleet was involved in Joint Task Force Philippines during the December 1989 coup attempt there, which involved two carrier battle groups, USS Midway and USS Enterprise with their associated air wings operating in the Philippine Sea, chopped to JTF Philippines. During the operations, the carriers maintained deck alerts and 24-hour coverage of Manila with E-2C aircraft. Around the 10th of September 1990, USS Princeton and the USS Reuben James visited Vladivostok. This marked the first United States Navy visit to the Soviet Union's Pacific port of Vladivostok since before World War II. Before the visit was completed, the crew received word that their Pacific cruise was cancelled. They returned to Long Beach and joined the USS Ranger Battle Group preparing to deploy to the Persian Gulf. During Operation Fiery Vigil in June 1991, the following vessels participated in the sealift phase of the evacuation, the Abraham Lincoln Battle Group COMCARGRU-3 embarked, USS Abraham Lincoln, USS Long Beach, USS Lake Champlain, USS Merrill, USS Gary, USS Ingram, USS Roanoke, Amphibious Ready Group Alpha COMPA HIBRON 3 embarked, USS Peleliu, USS Cleveland, USS Comstock, USS Bristol County, and a large number of other vessels, USS Midway, USS Kurtz, USS Rodney M. Davis, USS Thatch, USS Arkansas, USS McCluskey, USS St. Louis, USS San Bernardino, MV First LT Lummis, MV American Con Condor, USS Niagara Falls, USNS Ponchatoula, USNS Pasumsic, USNS Hasayampa, USS Haleakala, USNS Spica, USS Cape Cod. CNA, 1994, 113. Further operations included JTF Marianas, August September 1992, and JTF Hawaii, September to October 1992. Other contingency operation after 1991 included Operation Sea Angel, Bangladesh Relief, led by Commander 3rd Marine Expeditionary Force, Operation Eastern Exit, and involvement in the Somali Civil War, Restore Hope. During Restore Hope, Navy command arrangements underwent a number of changes during the operation. At the start, the principal naval forces were the Ranger Battle Group with Commander, Carrier Group 1 embarked on USS Ranger as Commander, Naval Forces, the Kitty Hawk Battle Group, an amphibious task unit including USS Tripoli, USS Juno, USS Rushmore, and MV Lummis, and three ships from MPSRON-2 MV Anderson, MV Bonnyman, and MV Phillips. Other events led to the departure of the carriers and, as a result, Commander, Naval Forces responsibilities devolved first to Commander, Carrier Group 3, on Kitty Hawk, and thence to Commander, Amphibious Group 3. Finally Commander, Amphibious Squadron 3 became COMNAVFOR on 15 January with the departure of COMPHIGRU-3 after the completion of the MPF offload. CNA, 1994, 168. In 1995 Pacific Fleet surface ships were reshuffled. Effective October 1, 1995 the U.S. Pacific Fleet's surface ships were to be reorganized into six core battle groups and eight destroyer squadrons. Permanent core battle groups were to include a battle group commander, aircraft carrier, carrier air wing and at least two cruisers. 
Commander Cruiser Destroyer Group 1, USS Constellation Battle Group, USS Lake Erie and USS Chosen. Comcradescrew 3, USS Carl Vinson Battle Group, USS Shiloh, USS California and USS Arkansas. Comcradescrew 5, USS Kitty Hawk Battle Group, USS Cowpens and USS Antietam. Commander Carrier Group 7, Comcargrew 7, USS Nimitz Battle Group, USS Port Royal and USS Lake Champlain. Comcar Group 3, USS Abraham Lincoln Battle Group, USS Princeton and USS Chancellorsville. Commander Carrier Group 5, USS Independence Battle Group, USS Bunker Hill and USS Mobile Bay Commander, Naval Surface Forces Pacific probably directed. Destroyer Squadron 1, USS Copeland, USS George Phillip, USS John A. Moore, USS Lewis B. Puller, USS Malin S. Tisdale, USS Sides, USS Wadsworth and USS Reed. Destroyer Squadron 5, USS Cushing, USS John S. McCain, USS Ingersoll, USS Cromelin, USS Reuben James. Destroyer Squadron 7, USS Elliot, USS Curtis Wilbur, USS Merrill, USS John Paul Jones and USS Harry W. Hill. Destroyer Squadron 9, USS Paul F. Foster, USS David R. Ray, USS Callahan, USS Chandler, USS Ford and USS Ingram. Destroyer Squadron 15, USS Fife, USS Hewitt, USS O'Brien, USS Kurtz, USS McCluskey, USS Rodney M. Davis and USS Thatch. Destroyer Squadron 21, USS Kincaid, USS Stetham, USS Benfold, USS Valley Forge, USS Jarrett and USS Rents. Destroyer Squadron 23, USS Oldendorf, USS John Young, USS Fitzgerald, USS Vincennes, USS Gary and USS Vandegrift. Destroyer Squadron 31, USS Fletcher, USS Leftwich, USS Halsey and USS Paul Hamilton In 1996 two carrier battle groups were sent to the Taiwan area during the Third Taiwan Straits Crisis. Later ships of the Pacific Fleet, notably the Ticonderoga-class cruiser USS Mobile Bay provided support to the entry of INTERFET in East Timor in 1999. Between 25 to 27 March 2006, Carrier Strike Group 9 participated in a series of anti-submarine warfare exercises (ASW) in Hawaiian waters while en route to the U.S. Seventh Fleet's area of responsibility. In addition to the strike group, the exercise also included the nuclear-powered attack submarines Seawolf, Cheyenne. Greenville, Tucson, and Pasadena, as well as land-based P-3 Orion aircraft from Commander Patrol and Reconnaissance Wing 2 and Associated Patrol Squadrons VP-4, VP-9, and VP-47. As of 2011, the Pacific Fleet has authority over Numbered 3rd and 7th Fleets Naval Air Force, Pacific Commander, Naval Surface Forces Pacific. Naval Submarine Force, Pacific Naval Shore Commands over which PACFLT has authority. Commander Naval Forces Korea. Commander Naval Forces Japan. Commander Naval Forces Marianasi List of Units of the United States Navy. Topic. Commanders Topic See also History of the United States Navy Military History of the United States Pacific Partnership United States Fleet Forces Command
United States Seventh Fleet. Topic Notes Topic External Links Official Site Pacific Fleet Center Long Beach Campaign to Permanently Birth the Retired USS Ranger CV-61 in Long Beach, CA Silent Service, Submarine Warfare in World War II Rare Footage <laughs>